this uh, head unit could give you the actual codes, but all it's giving me is that there's an engine system problem. <clears throat> so, uh, that's something. It seems that as it warms up, it gets worse. Hey, what's up guys? It's Brian of B2Rismo, and so here today to work on the Type R. I got my helper here. <laughs> so he's gonna help me out. So here's what's going on. We got a misfire in cylinder number four. What I'm assuming, of course, is that this is one at this end, two, three, four. That's how it has been on previous Hondas, so I'm gonna assume it's the same on this one. I got as far as to figure out that, okay, as the car warms up, it starts missing. It starts missing here. And the way I know it's missing here is because I can pull off the plug that goes to the coil and it doesn't have any impact on how the car runs. However, if I pull any other coil off, it does change how it runs. Um, <clears throat> one other thing I'll notice, uh, I switched coils from <laughs> that car to this car with the same part number, I looked it up, and it had no impact on how it runs. So it doesn't seem that the coil, I don't believe that this coil is bad, even though it doesn't look great. I mean. I don't know why it's all rusty and stuff, but it looks terrible. So, I'm gonna take out the spark plug now and take a look. So, uh, one thing you'll want to note, this spark plug is not a 5 8 like previous Hondas. You gotta get a 9 16 If you don't have one, then, then you'll have to go get one. It might also take a 14 mil. I think they're close enough. I didn't try a 14 mil, but I think, I think it might work too. So anyway, here we go. Get that plug out. How do we get the GoPro? <clears throat> nah, one GoPro's enough. Here, hold this way. And just point it at what I'm doing here. Okay. Tight. Yeah. good? Yeah, it's good. Not very good at my holding skills. No. Good enough, buddy. This should be fine. One thing I'm noticing here is it's really wet in this area. Yeah, now, some just yeah, it does that. It just it just saves us time. So one thing I'm noticing here is that this area is really wet. It's been raining, and the car has unfortunately been sitting outside. But that's just something to note. Okay, here's the spark plug. Ooh, we got it. I wish we got it. I'm trying to look at the spark plug here. So there's the spark plug, and uh, you know, I don't know. It doesn't look terrible, but obviously not right. There's nothing to see if I look them down in there because it's not bright enough. The spark plug looks like it's a hundred years old. I mean, it's all crusty, rusty, oily, whatever. This is just nasty. Maybe it was an old one when they put it in. I doubt that very much. But uh, all right, I'm gonna get cleaned up and loop plugs around and stuff and see uh, see what happens next. So what I'm doing here is swapping spark plugs from three to four. So I got three out and take a look in there. Can you see how crusty that hole is compared to that one? This, this is like, it's all wet. Like there's water getting in and it's getting past the engine cover and going down into that hole. <clears throat> I'm gonna guess that that's the problem. Um, that's the one from the crusty rusty hole, and this is the one from the number three hole. And you can see the number three is fine. I want to make sure I didn't get any water down in that combustion chamber, so I unplugged all the coil packs. Now I'm gonna crank the engine. Okay, right, so I like to put a paper towel over the holes, that way if something does go shooting up out, like, you know, a tablespoon of oily, gassy water, it doesn't just go all over the place, because that's gross. Man, freaking gross. Inside of this car is kind of gross. And that's... This is a perfectly okay thing to do. You're not hurting anything. I guess you are technically running the battery down a little bit because you're just spinning the engine on the battery. No big deal. All right, so that process there 
make sure that anything in this hole just got blown out. And you can see it's, see how there's like a mist, some gray stuff on there? That's junk that got blown out of the hole. So uh, we're glad we got that out. Because if I had put the spark plug in with that on there, with that in there, then the piston would have been trying to compress whatever that liquid is. If you don't know, liquids do not compress. You never want a liquid in your combustion chamber. I'm going to swap the plugs in and then we'll pick it back up from there. We're back at it. I swapped the spark plugs. You're just going to have to trust me, but I swapped the spark plugs from four to three, switched the two of them around. I did not swap the coils, so the coil should... The coil didn't seem to be the problem because I had already swapped coils from a known good coil and had no impact on that cylinder firing. So. Let's start it up and see what it does. Okay. Start it up. Running seemingly normal. I guess those messages will not go away until we clear the computer. I would expect that the car would run correctly without having to clear the computer. So I'm not going to go through the process of clearing the computer at this point. So um, what I found in the past is that the car doesn't start to run bad until it's warmed up. Now we're going to warm it up. Yep, I'm doing this with my foot, trying to warm up the engine, because it seems to do the most missing when the engine's warmed up. When the engine's cold, it doesn't seem to miss that bad. So is it going to work? Is it going to drive at all? Well, the engine's not warmed up, so I don't know. We have to wait till the engine's warmed up. Warmed up? No. It'll take about 10 minutes to warm it up. It takes a while. Okay, the engine's fully warmed up, and well, I'm a little bit lost. All I did was swap the spark plugs from three to four. The misfire went away. When I had the plugs out, I wiped them off with a paper towel. A little bit of soot on them, but I just wiped them off, put them back in in the uh, swap position. And now uh, the car didn't seem to be missing at all. from in here before when you give it some load it would it would start missing it doesn't sound like it's missing at all it's definitely not missing I mean it was it was obvious it loped all right well the only thing to do now is uh, maybe let it sit here and get really warm the cooling fans come on and then I don't know try it again maybe I'll take it for a drive and um, well it's still wet out so I can't really do a whole lot but um, we might do something like take it for a quick drive and see if I can give it some boost and see if it misses or not uh, see if we can make it miss if not then we're gonna have to swap the spark plugs back to the position they were in do this again see if it misses and then well, if it doesn't miss, then I don't know what to do. Just been letting the car sit here and run for like 40 minutes, so... Um, I've let it heat up and run the fans a few times. It's just a little bumbly, but it doesn't sound like as bad as it did. So we're going to take it for a drive and, and see what we uh, see. What we see. Um, hopefully... Well, hopefully we don't see any problem. If we do see a problem, then hopefully we can get back here and unplug cylinder three and find that uh, cylinder three is now bad. Right, so before when I 
drove it. I mean, we knew right away that there was something wrong. And that sound is just the uh, limited slip differential, making some tire slip. Here we go. change any parts or replace any parts with new parts and then it suddenly does run right and that's really really troublesome to try and you know figure out what what's going on so I'm happy that it's missing just because it means it's it's a consistent problem and the car or the, the underhood is still apart so we're just going to take it over here to the park parking lot and uh, I'll pull the plug. Hopefully it misses at idle again. If it doesn't miss at idle, then it's gonna make it really hard to chase it down. I'm gonna guess, I'm, I'm hoping that the fix is just change all the spark plugs and be done, but, you know, I don't know. Deep water. It's not missing at idle. That's really making it harder to chase this thing down. No problem. Freaking A. Okay, well, we found the problem with the Type R. So that's awesome. Um, not by using any parts from that car, of course, but here's, here's what's going on, and here's why we didn't find it earlier. So yes, I swapped coil packs over yesterday and did not swap the spark plugs, which led me to believe it was the bad spark plugs. As it turns out, um, the one spark plug was just fouled so bad that even though I swapped in a good coil, it was too bad to work, so it wasn't going to work. So today um, I realized that that plug was fouled when I swapped it out. Um, so I decided, all right, I'll clean that plug, swap over the coil packs again. Now that the plug is definitely clean, try it out. And as you could see, yeah, it's fine. Everything's cool. So that's great. Um, just going to have to get the it's still under warranty, so we're gonna have to get the dealer to get me a new plug, uh, excuse me, coil pack. That coil pack there that's all brown and crappy looking is bad. I guess it got wet, which is a little bit disturbing. Um, this is my underhood. It's still a factory hood. I got the PPF, but that's it. So I don't know why I'm getting water in that area, but I am. So. All right, uh, I'm gonna swap things around and looks like that's gonna be the end of this video. Hopefully in the next video, I'll be picking up the car from the dealer after getting that part um, replaced. 
under warranty. Thanks for watching, and as always, keep right, pass left. Like and subscribe if you like what you see here. Thank you guys, and have a good night. <laughs>